now let's consider um, when our let's consider the case when our you know approximation uh, doesn't work very well okay and then uh, we'll learn uh, what we can do in that case okay when k1 and k2 are nearly equal okay the uh, uh, the difference is not that uh, big okay and f you know, formal concentration is small in this case what can it do okay in that case the approximation does not work okay in that case we have to do the successive approximation okay and then let's see let's consider this uh, uh, dissociation of this compound you know, malic acid right and this is not, not an amino acid but this is one two diprotic acid but this one this proton yeah this hydroxide proton is not uh, well dissociated okay so we only consider you know this uh, what the two dissociations okay the first one uh, uh, this proton is uh, dissociated okay so k1 is 3.5 times 10 to minus 4 okay and then it undergoes the second dissociation and k2 is 7.9 times 10 to minus 6 okay well the k1 and k2 uh, are different but the difference is not great okay and as usual hmm, let's find yeah, the ph by the uh, approximation okay the question is find the ph of one millimolar hm minus okay so the formal concentration okay this f is is what a small okay? not 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 big okay let's start from this intermediate form all right okay so let's make a first approximation which is the uh, equilibrium concentration is same as uh, formal concentration okay let's the, our first approximation is to set this one equilibrium concentration is simply 0 0.001 molar okay and then using the uh, the, uh, the first approximated equation and then we can calculate proton concentration okay and then we get hmm, the 4.53 times 10 to minus 5 molar for proton all right and then ph is 3 uh, 4.5 Three, four, okay, and from K one we calculate H two M eh, polyprotonated form, which is one point two nine times ten to minus four, and then from uh, K two we we can get concentration for you know, polyprotonated form, which is one point seven five times ten to minus four molar. Okay, well, let's see this concentration. This, these concentrations are not negligible, okay? Are not negligible relative to initial, you know, concentration, in, in formal concentration of 0 0.001 molar, okay? So, our approximation, the, the first approximation fails, okay? And let's do the second approximation using you know, these values. How do we do that? Yeah? Since the um, true concentration of HM yeah, is not this value, okay? And then using mass balance equation here, yeah, we, we recalculate the uh, HM minus concentration, okay? The sub 2 means the uh, second approximation. 1 means uh, it is done. Uh, the first approximation is done, okay? And using mass balance equation, this one, uh, this concentration is you know formal concentration minus what this hm h2m minus m2 minus you know, these concentrations and then we get this new value 6.96 times 10 to minus 4 molar okay and we hook up uh, we substitute hmm, this value into the uh, hmm, our equation yeah the for ph calculation okay and then we get you know proton concentration you know second proton concentration which is 4 times uh, 4.29 times 10 to minus 5 molar right you see 
the new, newly calculated proton concentration is different from the, the first calculation, all right? And using K1, uh, we calculate H2M concentration like this. And from K2, uh, we calculate M2 minus concentration, yeah, which is uh, given by this one. Yeah? They are different, okay? Look at that. And this process uh, is repeated yeah, until uh, the, we have constant values are obtained, okay? And after uh, four approximations, we get this rather constant values, okay? Mm? So, you know, fifth or seven or six approximation uh, may not need, all right? So our final value for proton concentration is 4.35 10 to minus uh, uh, 5 molar, okay? Look at, compare, yeah, these two. They are different, okay? And uh, HM minus is 0 0.00076 molar, okay? And what about the uh, H2M? Yeah? Uh, I didn't write here, but you can uh, calculate that, all right? And pH is 4.36, yeah? But for initial calculation, we got 4.34 for pH. But now, after fourth approximation, uh, we get you know almost identical, the same uh, pH. But you see, although we get you know almost the same pH, pH doesn't change much. But this one, hmm? equilibrium concentration of HM minus is quite different. Okay, initially we uh, we assume that. Uh, this concentration is 0 0.00101 molar, one millimolar. But after you know repeated calculation, we got you know, this concentration is 0 0.765 millimolar. They are quite different. Okay, the difference is uh, how much percent? More than about the 25 percent difference. Okay, that's not uh, negligible. Okay. Okay, this is a summary for a pH calculation for the intermediate form, right? This for, for from a first approximation, <clears throat> we can uh, calculate proton uh, by using this equation, and if this condition is met, then pH is simply you know one half of pK one plus pK two. Okay, this is the uh, further result from further approximation all right yeah here is an example hmm, for pH calculation for uh, the compound potassium hydrogen phthalate KHP and this KHP is a weak acid this is uh, you know very widely uh, used uh, as a, a primary standard for uh, you know uh, standardizing uh, you know the uh, NaOH, right? The uh, strong base. Okay. Usually we uh, use this intermediate form. Okay, potassium. Yeah, you know counter ion. In this case is potassium ion. Okay, potassium hydrogen phthalate. Okay, but fully deprotonated form is this one, phthalic acid. This is di uh, protic acid. Okay. As usual, let's start from this one, this form, pKa, pK1 is 2.95 and pK2 is 5.408. But now, question is, calculate pH of KHP solution whose concentrations are 0 0.1 molar and 0 0.01 molar, okay? So let's use this one. Uh, this, uh, you know, you know, extremely simplified equation. Okay, pH using this equation, and we immediately get the pH of 4.18. We add these two values and divide by two. Okay, so this one means what? The solution pH doesn't depend on KHP concentration. Okay pH is independent of concentration. But if we use this one, this equation for uh, 0.1 molar KHP, we get pH of 4.18.
this is the same as this one, right? okay? But for the uh, smaller concentration of KHP, okay, 0 0.01 molar, pH becomes 4.2. This is different, okay? So to use, you know, to use this uh, simplified uh, equation, then pH, ah, I'm sorry, the concentration of KHP should be high, okay? If the KHP concentration is low, and then pH calculation is becomes different, okay? Small difference only when the solution is dilute, okay? Yeah. So, you know, you can uh, use this equation or this one, okay? But you have to decide, okay, which one to use, yeah, depending on the initial concentration, okay? When initial concentration is high, you can use uh, this simplified one. Otherwise, you have to use this one, okay? Okay, um, here is a summary of a diprotic acid and calculation. Okay, this is a fully protonated form, and then simply we, we use, we take mm, this one, H2A as monoprotic acid. Okay, and then we can calculate from this simple equation. Yeah? And for the intermediate form, you know, we use this one. Okay. But here is also, uh, you know, you have to do, uh, you know, the, the, what, the, mm, uh, you know, be careful, yeah, this equation, yeah, this approximation is, uh, in most cases, uh, this is true, but when F is very small, okay, and K1 and K2 uh, uh, are not very different, and then you have to do the, you know, successive approximation, okay, anyway, let's use uh, this one. Using this equation, you can calculate you know, proton concentration, and H2A form is obtained from K1, and A minus A2 minus form is from uh, K2. And when you start from fully deprotonated form, and you, know, you treat this compound as a monoprotic base, okay, and use uh, this uh, uh, you know, equation to calculate. Uh, hydroxide and concentration and proton concentration is given by what uh, this equation okay yeah and again h2a is from obtained from ka1 okay and ka1 you see this one and then for uh, ka2 this is the same as ka2 okay very simple